So we're about to make these darling little rabbits. Aren't they sweet? So these are the items that you're going to need in order to make today's project. You'll need some yarn for the color of the body of the bunny. You'll need a pom-pom. If you don't have pom-poms, you can make your own pom-pom. So you'll need yarn for that as well. In the comment section down below, I have a link to show you how to make these cute little pom-poms using a fork. And that's all you need is a fork and some yarn and some scissors. So check that link out in the comment section down below. And I'll give you a full tutorial on how to make your own pom-poms. You'll need scissors, some yarn needles. If you don't have yarn needles, there's metal yarn darners. You can also weave your tails of your yarn through your project with your crochet hook if you don't have yarn needles, but the yarn needles do make it easier. And you have your crochet hook. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot. To begin, we're going to work five chains, so yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop on your hook, and yarn over and pull it through. You're going to do that five times. And now we're going to make a circle. We're going to take our hook and stick it into the first chain on that foundation row that you just made, and you're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull the yarn through. Now you've got two chains on your hook. You're going to pull that first loop through the second loop and that's a slip stitch. Now you've made a circle. Now we're going to start round one of our circle for the body of the bunny. We're going to chain three. So yarn over and pull it through. You're going to chain three total. Now this chain counts as a double crochet. We're going to do 14 double crochets all the way around. So if you count the 14 you do all the way around plus this chain, that'll be 15 total. Yarn over, put it through the very center of our circle, and we're going to crochet this tail of the yarn into this circle. So we're going to hold our tail right there on top of that little circle that we have made. And we're going to yarn over and pull it through we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull it through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and pull it through the second two loops on our hook, leaving only one loop left. And our tail is right there in the middle of that double crochet we just did. So hold that tail onto that circle. You're going to yarn over, put your hook through that hole of that circle and hold that tail there. Yarn over, pull it through, and go ahead and do your double crochet. So that gives us three double crochets so far. Our chain three that we made and then two more that we just crocheted. You need to do 12 more double crochet and when you get done, stop and I'll show you how to join to make your circle. Okay, now we have 15 double crochet total onto our circle. To connect and finish off our circle, we're going to do a slip stitch in the top of the chain three that we started with. So this is our chain three post that we started with. There's the first chain, second chain, and third chain. We're gonna take our hook and we're gonna put it into the top of that chain three and do a slip stitch. Now it takes some maneuvering because that is a pretty tight stitch there that we made initially. And you're gonna put it through the very top of it Okay, got it into the top of the chain three, and you can see there's two loops there from that chain three. It kind of makes a V. Look at the back. You've got one loop on the back, so you're in the top of that chain three. You're going to do a slip stitch, so yarn over and pull it through. That leaves you two loops on the hook. You're going to pull that first loop through the second loop, and that's a slip stitch. Now that completes round one. To start round two, you're going to chain three, 
Now this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Let me pull my yarn out so we don't lose our spot because I'm going to show you what we're about to do to make it easy for you if you haven't crocheted before. So this chain three is in this space. In our next stitch we're going to do two double crochet and we're going to do two double crochet in the top of every stitch all the way around your circle and when you get back around you'll do two double crochet into this stitch and you'll stop. That'll leave you with 29 double crochet. To finish off we'll do our last double crochet. We'll do one right in the beginning post of this chain three where we started. So right now there's only one double crochet here but when we come all the way around we'll do our last stitch here. It'll be one double crochet. So we're going to have 15 pairs of double crochet all the way around. And then when we get around to this end, I'll show you how to fasten off in just a moment. So we're going to do two double crochet into every stitch all the way around. And when you finish, I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to fasten off and make your second round complete. Now I've double crocheted into every stitch around on the circle. Now I'm to the very end. This is the last stitch and that's where the beginning chain three started. We're going to do one double crochet into the base of that space at the bottom of that chain three. And that will complete your last pair of double crochet. Now you're going to do a slip stitch just like you did in the row previous into the very top of that chain three. So one, two, three, right there into the very top of that chain three. You're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to yarn over and pull it through and then pull it through one last time. So that closes off round two and that's the body of your little bunny. Now we're going to start the head of our bunny. For row one of the head, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now you're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. and you're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain three and this will be the second row of the head of your bunny. You're going to do one double crochet into the base of where your chain three space was where you just did your chain three And you're going to do four double crochets, one into each stitch along the top of that row. Now you're going to do one double crochet into the very top of that chain three from the prior row. See where, we're, where we chained three before we started our first row of our head? You're going to go down and you're going to do a double crochet right there in the very top of that chain three from the row underneath. And that completes the head of your bunny. You're going to turn your work. Now we're going to go back the other way because right here is where the ears of our bunny are going to poke out. So we need to make our way across the top of this last row and the way that we're going to do that is by making slip stitches. So we're going to do five slip stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to make our ears. So in the stitch that we just made, the very last one, we're going to put our hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull our work through, and then we're going to slip stitch. And we're going to do that four more times. Now this is where we're going to make our first ear. We're going to chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now be careful not to twist your chain. 
Now you're going to do one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. You're going to yarn over, put your hook through that chain, yarn over, pull your hook through, and that leaves three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull your yarn all the way through those three loops that were on your hook. That's a half double crochet. Now you're going to do one half double crochet into the next three chains. And into the very last chain, you're going to do one single crochet. Stick your hook through that chain, yarn over, yarn over and pull it both through both loops. Now you're going to connect your ear to the head of your bunny. To connect your ear to your bunny, you're going to slip stitch into the base of that chain three at the end of row two of your head. So see row two, there's the chain three. You're going to slip stitch right into the base of that to the very first chain. You're going to yarn over and pull it through and yarn over and pull it through and that'll connect your ear to the head. Now you're going to make your second ear. You're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to do a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Don't let your chain twist. Hold on to your chain and you're going to do one half double crochet into the next three chains. You have one chain left and you're going to do a single crochet into that chain. Now you're going to connect the second ear to the head of your bunny. You're going to do a slip stitch at the base of the first double crochet right there on round one where it connects to the body. So put your hook through that loop and you're going to slip stitch right there and that will connect your ear. Now you're going to fasten off your work. Snip your yarn. You're going to yarn over and pull your yarn all the way through that slip stitch and pull it tight and that fastens off your work. And there's your little bunny. Now you've got two tails hanging. Turn your work over and you can see the string from the tail from when we started our bunny. You can pull that tight just a little bit and that closes off the ring there in the center just a little. And all you need to do is take your scissors Snip that piece of yarn close to the bunny without cutting your, your little project and that hides that tail right there in the center. You don't even see it. Now this tail, you're going to take your yarn needle and you're going to sew this tail onto the back of your bunny. So go around to the back and you're just going to do a few stitches to hide your tail so that it's not seen. And you just need a couple little stitches to do that, just to pull it through and go along right with the direction of your yarn and no one will even know that that's there. And do a couple stitches up the, back the other way and then we'll cut off the end of our yarn tail and it will never be seen. Okay, snip off your yarn tail and your bunny is done. All you need to do now is to sew on your pom-pom. And remember, check that comment section down below and I have a link where I show you how to make these pom-poms if you don't have any already. So to sew this on, all you need to do is find the location where you want your yarn to go. Stick your hook through from the back wrap your yarn around that hook and just pull it through and on the other side you pull your yarn through find where you want your other piece of yarn to come through stick your hook through there wrap your yarn around it once or twice pull it through your work and now you now you've basically attached it 
All you need to do is tie a knot and that will fasten off your little pom-pom to the booty of your little bunny. There's a nice little fluffy butt now. Tie that into a knot. I always like to do an extra tie just for security's sake. Snip off your yarn tails. Now you have a cute little bunny with a little pom-pom booty. And look how cute these are. I'm going to use mine to decorate little baby presents that I give away. These are not necessarily just for Easter. So I'm going to put them on the top of the present with a name tag and decorate those. Make a nice little gift for somebody. You can uh, make a garland. Just a couple of ideas for you. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing and liking my channel and follow along. Hit that bell notification. Anytime I upload a video, you'll get notified. Check me out also on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on Pinterest as well. Happy crocheting. See you soon. And if you have any comments, definitely leave those down below and I'll be sure to reply. Have a great, wonderful day and God bless.